Hey guys, Curious Hobbyist here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you some issues in the game Super Fancy Pants Adventure by Bradborn, as well as a couple of ways you can fix them. This game is a doodle art slash stickman game from Steam, and a sequel to three online flash games. So, let's begin. Firstly, the game has no way to reset your storyline progress. There aren't even continue and new game options. There's also no level select, until you complete the Tree Pirate Village area that is. Fortunately, there is a way to fix that. Here it is. Go to your finder and hold down the command and shift keys on your keyboard. Then press the G key as a shortcut for the go to folder option, which is also located in the top left menu bar under the go drop down. A window will appear with a small text field. From here, you can enter a path to a folder on your hard drive. In this case, we're going to be typing in slash users. To confirm, click the go option or press return. This will take you to the users folder, which is directly located on the root folder of your hard drive. Now, take a look at the name of your home folder. This is the folder for the user that's currently using the computer, and shows a specialized icon that looks like a house. Then use the go to folder shortcut again, and type in slash users slash the home folder name. Inside of that folder, there's also a hidden folder called library. So after that, we're going to type in slash library. By the way, this may or may not be capital sensitive depending on how you formatted your hard drive. Once you've reached the user library, open the application support folder, then open the com.borngames.fpa world 4 folder. Inside of that folder, there are two more folders called air version and local store. Your game progress is in the local store folder. What the game does with it is it references and modifies its contents when open. However, this only happens if the folder path is valid. Otherwise, the game thinks that it's opening for the first time. Therefore, it creates an entirely new local store folder. So now, right click on the Born Games folder and select New Folder. Name the folder to yourself or another person that plays the game. Now drag the current local store folder into it. This way, you can use the folder as a save slot. If you want to add another one, simply repeat the process. Next, test what you've done by opening the game. This cutscene should play, which is the first intro cutscene. This cutscene only occurs when you have no game progress. Also, the game created a new local store folder. This will be your new profile. Now create another folder with the other user's name on it. When the other user plays the game, instruct them to drag the current local store folder to the empty folder and drag out their save data from the one with their name on it. If you're planning on doing this again, you can also make it easier to get here later. To do that, right click on the Born Games folder, then select Create Alias from Folder. The reason for this is that you can't rename the original folder. So this way, you can rename the alias to something like FPA Profiles. Now, you can drag the alias to your finder sidebar and or the right side of your dock. You can also move the original alias to your desktop. That's it! You've just added a makeshift multi-profile interface. I also noticed that the game was being updated on Christmas Eve of 2017, so I tried installing the update, and once it was installed, I started the game and I noticed that it was slowed down to about half of its normal speed. That is strange. Again, it wasn't slow before. Also, I haven't seen any other reports of this issue. If you've experienced the same problem, please let me know in the comments. It would also be interesting to know what computer you're using. For instance, I am using a Mac Mini from late 2014 with the High Sierra operating system. Fortunately, there is a way that you might be able to fix that. Steam gives you the option to back up your games by right clicking on them. If you've done that with this game, go to the menu bar at the top left of your screen and click on the drop down for Accounts. Now select Backup and Restore. Select Restore and click Next. Find your backup, browse to it, and once again, click Next. Edit the shortcut preferences and finish the backup. Also, you may want to create a new backup first. In my case, I copied the old version of the resources folder inside the app, so I chose to replace it. In my case, I found that this fixed my slowdown issue. However, the old version does not have the new levels or the World 1 Remix. Unfortunately, this means that I haven't been able to play them at normal game speed.
Here's another issue. In windowed mode, the game's aspect ratio is about 3-2 by default. Today, many displays and computer monitors are 16-9. If you resize the window, you'll also change the aspect ratio. Also, it's not very responsive. If you change the window's aspect ratio, the icons and options in the pause menu will be distorted with it, as well as the health and ink bars in the lives counter in the heads up display. As a result, here's what happened when I switched to full screen. It seems the game stretched to the size of my display. However, my display is 16.9, so I'm curious about what it would look like on a 4.3 or 21.9 display. As a result, the icons in the pause menu aren't quite squares. However, the rest of the game won't distort, although it may start to look broken. However, there is a way to get around this. If you want to play the game in full screen at 3.2, hold down the shift key and change the window size. This will resize the window and preserve the aspect ratio. You can also do this to minimize it. However, at a certain point, the top bar of the window might get in the way, so it may be better to estimate. Fortunately, who wants to play a game that small? Well, here's the answer. I would, for the sake of showing you things like this. Anyways, that's it, and that's all. Now, you can use these tips to go forth and be fancier. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If so, feel free to like it, share it with family and friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos. If you want to be notified on my new uploads, click on the bell that appears after you subscribe. I usually try to upload new videos on Saturdays or Sundays. And to check out my channel, click here. I have more videos that I think you would find interesting to watch. If you have questions or requests, you can let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching.